A killer is still out there. A Chesapeake man, a father of two, is dead, and the lives of his loved ones have been shattered. Eleven weeks ago, in an apparent drive-by shooting, someone shot 30-year-old Taekwon Smith in the head while he was driving along South Military Highway. Tonight, loved ones say they will not rest until the killer is behind bars. The fall of 2022 was a great time for Diana Sykes and Taekwon Smith, who also loved the Los Angeles Chargers. Go Chargers. <laughs> Go Chargers. That was then, this is now. Sykes says she suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder after she became an ear witness to her boyfriend's death. She was on the phone with him on the evening of November 20th when he complained a truck on 64 was following too closely with blinding headlights. Sykes says Smith took the South Military Highway exit and so did the truck. When I said, babe, what's happening? That's when I heard the noise. The, the, from my understanding now, they were gunshot. Kept saying, babe, what was that noise? What's going on? I just heard him, like I said, take a deep breath like he was snoring and that was it. Shortly after his death, Ted on your side introduced you to members of his family who demanded justice. Days later, a Chesapeake Walmart was the scene of a mass shooting that claimed six lives. Smith's parents tell me their calls to police have not been returned. Sykes says she last heard from police three weeks ago. Every time I go past Mill South Military Highway now, the memory is there, and I just try to not go that way at all. Since the night Smith was killed, there have been numerous violent crimes in Chesapeake, including one last night that ended with a fatality. Police say the Smith case remains under investigation and the family has had full access to the detectives who are investigating the case. I have more on wavy.com.